You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon! For it will be the last moon you will ever see! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! The way your swords gleam and strike the moonlight! One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger Returns! October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Okay, hello everybody, my name is Alistair Dragovic, and, well, we just closed out October. <laughs> oh man, it's been a month. And the fact that we just closed out October, and we're now just now getting to October in the Phoenix Wright Let's Play is hilarious to me. Ah, I'm guessing they just finished watching that in the office. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get back to Maya's voice. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here! It was that surreal show you were watching? What? You mean, you don't know? The Steel Samurai? Wow. <laughs> He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Y young? Like, how young? Um, ten years old? And what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only seventeen. Ah, okay. That seventeen, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only twenty-four myself. <laughs> oh. oh, I am not twenty-four. I am not seventeen. This is painful physically for me. And watch it with me! It's really cool, and it's really popular! When they asked grade school kids who they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one! I really worry about kids these days. Gramps! <laughs> well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients! What? A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. Law Offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Gosh, it'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. <sighs> October 16th, 8.14 a.m., Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Oh, this cannot be good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick, Nick, Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. Hey, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with a samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick. Please, Nick. Well, Maya was right. I'm pretty sure she didn't want to be right in this fashion. Maya's here watching television. Now for the morning news. 
The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids' show, Steel, the Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays a villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The, the samurai spear was also found struck through, stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Oh no. Oh no! She's making the face! This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai's over! The world is over! Oh? Another phone call at a time like this? Her. Yes, right in Clell Law Offices. What? Nick! I it's the Steel Samurai! What? what Yep. I'm surprised, though. Y yes of course, we'll be right there. Okay. Let's go, Nick! I'll admit, I wasn't ex I was expecting them to go to the Steel Samurai, not the Steel Samurai to call them. But, you know... Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention! This is so what? So? I've decided this will be our first case! Uh... <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting it right into the gameplay here. Uh... What to do? What, what should we do? What should we do? How could you just... How could you just sit there like that? You have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. Wow, Phoenix! Rude! Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No! You just don't have enough information. Uh, aren't those the same thing? Uh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm just gonna backpedal. I want to I see if there's any new uh, information. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy happily cleaning the room. Okay. Um, I actually kind of like that um, as time goes on, things um, have kind of changed a little. Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya has been watering it so much lately it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. <laughs> wow, Phoenix! You, uh... You really went there. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Valid. That is where professionals sit. The poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized that poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Oh my god, they actually referenced the fact that the, the that the poster doesn't have any writing on it. Ah, poor Phoenix. Nothing more torturous than that. Ugh, just uh, seeing something and knowing you want to watch it, but don't have any clue what the name is. Ugh, how frustrating. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still, it's not that I have to read all of these now. At least he's, you know, going to commit himself to that. Anyway. Present. You know what? Let's just present the attorney's badge. What about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> At least it seems to have cheered her up. Okay, that was hilarious. I, 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 I <laughs> uh, yeah, one day, one day we will be presenting that badge, and it will be just the most gratifying thing possible when it actually does something. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, yeah. I am in a much better mood right now. Earlier, I was just feeling kind of blah. So I decided to record a ramble, which you'll probably be seeing um, later this week. And somehow that just got me feeling better. I guess I just needed to... <laughs> Maybe rambles will be a part staying part of this um, channel to come. We'll see. Anyway... Let's move down to the detention center to meet our newest client. October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Wow! That is a hairy guy. What's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um... Maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it! Murder! At least once! Maybe twice! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... Y yes Is something wrong? No, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know, you're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed Oh no, oh no! No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got to the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. Guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for Will Powers, but also I just... Hmm. Maya really is a teenager. Clearly. Anyway, before we actually get into things, Smile for the camera, as always. Um, let's see how the guard's doing. Um, frozen? He seems frozen in awe of willpowers this time. Okay. Okay. I like how there's always something subtly different about what the guard... How the guard is. If you examine him. I also wonder if there's ever going to be anything different for the camera. Anyway. Let's present the attorney's badge right off before we start talking. Yeah. Um, here. I... I see. Let me guess, this guy wasn't the top student in improv class. Not everybody can be. Some people just work better with a script, and just... and, and lines, and just more regimented things. Some people... while well, others are just much better being off the cuff and more streamlined. I know that it's a lot easier for me to get into the flow of talking if I'm if I'm just doing it stream of conscious. If I have to try to memorize something, I get nervous and the anxiety makes it harder to remember my lines and to say things in a proper structured order. It doesn't guarantee mind um, that I be able to speak better doing um, just off the cuff, as you can tell right there, there's still a lot of pauses. But, having, um, there's a world of difference mentally for me. And I just feel, feel like I do a lot better doing things off the cuff. <sighs> Though, one day, one of these days, I'm gonna have to try to do a more, um, structured video. And I look forward to it, actually. You know, just for the, for the experience of it. Okay. Let's talk to this guy proper. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. I yes, of, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Uh, actually, it was only yesterday. 
the case has come down to Global Studios for a run-through. The cast, sorry. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh, jeez. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. Wow, that is... I can't believe they're showing the hole in him. I can see why... I I'm glad they didn't go into gruesome detail, but... Oh my, my goodness. He had been excellently skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... That the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Oh! That slip on. I wonder if he gets a bit too into the role. Okay, let's talk about the steel samurai. For Phoenix, Phoenix's sake, you know? Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick! How could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this, and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in, that, in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although... I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I... I see. Neo Old Tokyo comes up with these names! I can actually see it. Um... The way... The, sh the way the intro... Um... I hate to call it a cutscene. PowerPoint presentation? Um... Uh, well, I guess it's as good as a cutscene as this game can get, considering it's all visual novelly. But, the intro cutscene for this case was the Steel Samurai um, doing battle. And it was done in a very retro-style um, samurai movie flick kind of deal. But, it was robots fighting each other, from the, from the looks of their character design. So, I can see why they have Neo, which, you know, fancy word for new, and old, in an old-fashioned sort of way, to represent um, the hybrid of, you know, the new technology, but the old-fashioned um, setting and conflicts. I bet you somebody came up with a, just, you know, and sometimes you just gotta embrace that sort of thing when you're making, um, stories and coming up with names. Because otherwise, you're just never gonna get anywhere, you know? Like, for crying out loud, the name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. That's kind of, like, it works for Phoenix. Uh, but it only works so well because they unapologetically, uh, unapologetically embrace such a you know, hilariously on point name. Phoenix, the rising from the ashes, right? You know, obviously invoking, um, you know, righteousness, being correct. We are on the right side of the law, but also the right brothers, as in flight. And of course, Ace Attorney, because that's what it's all about. You are the, you are the, you are an expert attorney. And it's alliterative. Wow, I got off onto a tangent about names at the drop of a hat. And again, I really just... feel very passionately about creative stuff. You know, maybe I should... just t ramble about that next time I um, do a ramble video. We'll see. For now, though, we're about at um, the 20-minute mark, so I think we'll wrap things up here. Thank you, thank you everybody, for watching. Um, 
Next time, I guess we'll go into what Power's alibi is. See y'all then.